a little kid and adult really how doesn't like bubbles as the weather warms up you may be outside blowing bubbles with the little ones it's also a good chance to get some education in that's why jackie lane is here with us she's the regional director at project scientist and jackie before we get into the fun with all the bubbles remind the people what project scientist is and what your mission is yeah project scientist is an education nonprofit. we started actually here in charlotte but are across the country um, with a goal to be able to provide girls with after school and summer programming in STEM, um, particularly in marginalized and underrepresented communities. That's awesome. I have two little girls and I always tell them science can be fun and cool. So what are we going to do with bubbles here that's going to teach us a lesson, but also we're going to have fun doing it? That's fantastic. Well, there's a lot of science actually that goes into bubbles, especially when you start playing around with variables. So I made a bubble solution today, okay. just simple water, dish soap, and some glycerin because the secret behind bubbles is actually that water is trying to escape. It's very sneaky, it wants to get away, um, but the soap and glycerin kind of help it to stay it's in there It's trapping it in, that's bit. why it's a bubble. Yep, exactly. That's simple enough. Um, but the part that breaks my heart sometimes is when my is bubble this one pops. For me? Oh okay. yeah, please, okay. if you can put that pink say, one yeah. on, this is great. Good thing it stretches. Um, I hate when the bubbles pop. Yeah. Uh, the dirt and oil in our hands is actually what causes that. So if you've got a winter mitten, hopefully we can see warmer weather and just use these right. for bubbles yes. from now on. So we can blow a bubble. Oh, you, you actually caught it? To bounce Wait, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. All right, sending it your way. Bounce. Look at this thing. <laughs> and bounce with the bubble. Give me another one. It's probably the only yeah. way I'd be able to juggle. <laughs> All right, oh, so, I lost it there. All right, so that is, that. that's an next. So Bubble number one. Real quick, it's because I'm wearing the glove that's able to do that. That's right, or you could do really any kind of fabric as long as it's putting that barrier between the oil and dirt in your hands. Okay. Even, uh, we're gonna use a sock next. You could use a okay. sock from home. All right, what's next, what's this one? All right, so this one is my favorite. This is called the bubble snake. Mm. And you simply take a water bottle, cut off kind of the bottom, maybe about an inch or so sure. of it. Fit a random sock, you know, I'm sure the dryer ate the other one, so yeah, you've plenty got of those. plenty at home. Yeah. You're gonna dip it right in, and I actually took some food coloring and put it on yours. Okay, to make cool. A Do I push snake. it this part in or no? You're just gonna dip it just right in. Just dip it right in. in. All right, the there bubbles. it is. How deep? Not that deep? Oh, just a little dunk is just good. A little bit. All right, and cool. then when you start blowing. All right, hold on a second. Let me just stop it. Look at that. We can yeah. color our bubbles. We can have it long. You can measure how long you can get it. Put some math in your stem. Look at this. Now tell the me a little bit more deep. about, about the, the, the mission behind STEM, specifically with young girls and underrepresented females like you were talking about. Why does that make it so important to get these type of lessons out there? Yeah, that's a great point. So our, we've found that statistics show only about 27% of STEM jobs are held by women. And wow. when you look um, at Latina, uh, Black, and Native women as well, that gets down to about 10%. So wow. we really need that diversity in STEM. We need the diversity of their ideas. So our programming helps um, to introduce STEM to our girls, introduce them to diverse STEM careers, and really open up their world for the possibilities. Look, knowledge is power, and I've said it a million times. I want to put your information uh, up on the screen so people know how to get in contact with you, follow you on Facebook as well as Instagram. Uh, Kristen, do you want me to make you a little bubble snake over here? Yeah, could you do that? Make, do, go ahead. Keep going. Come on, use those lungs. There you go. Look at that. I'm so impressed. There it is. Not bad. That I shall name him Simon. <laughs> Thank you both. That was amazing. All right. If you